There's an old proverb that says, God is in the details. I like that, because when it comes to nature, it's easy to direct our focus almost exclusively toward enormous displays of beauty and wonder that overwhelm our senses with their big screen, surround sound, technicolor splendor. It's a spectacular show that can take your breath away. But not far upstream from that thundering waterfall, other, more subtle miracles also unfold each day with little or no recognition from the outside world. Case in point, this butterfly, a creature small, silent, and seldom stationary long enough for close examination. Yet its body is packed with microscopic systems and biological machines that keep it alive, airborne, and stunningly beautiful. During the next few minutes, we'll use an assortment of cameras, close-up lenses, and a scanning electron microscope to explore butterfly anatomy at magnifications far beyond the power of the unaided human eye. And in the process, we'll discover that some of our planet's most brilliant creations are often hidden in the details. Let's start with a butterfly's wide-ranging sense of vision. There are at least 15,000 different butterfly species in the world, and every member is equipped with two massive compound eyes. Each eye contains thousands of individual light receptors and lenses, and together they present the world as a sweeping panorama. For unlike vertebrates that must constantly move their heads and eyes to scan what's going on around them, a butterfly's eyes create a field of vision that covers almost 360 degrees, even when its body is completely still. In other words, while the insect's head and thorax remain in a fixed position, its eyes work together to construct a spherical view. This perspective encompasses nearly 90% of the surrounding environment, including the sky and ground above and below its wings. That means the butterfly can concentrate on the food source right in front of it, while simultaneously scanning for predators everywhere else. It's like having eyes in the back of your head. You're looking at a butterfly's lifeline, an ingenious creation engineered to ensure survival. It's called the proboscis, and every drop of food the insect consumes must first pass through its tube-like walls. Immediately after emerging from the chrysalis, the butterfly assembles two hair-thin strands into a flexible conduit that's longer than the rest of its body. This device is watertight and powered by a network of muscles, nerves, and a miniature suction pump. It's a highly efficient drinking straw that's built to last a lifetime. When not in use, the proboscis coils tightly like a spring for optimal storage and protection. This elaborate feeding system is not only ideal for extracting nectar from flowers, it also collects nutrients stored in puddles, fruit, mud, and another source that has to be seen to be believed. In the Amazon rainforest, where salt is often in short supply, tropical butterflies receive their daily dose of sodium by landing on the heads of river turtles basking in the sun and then carefully sipping teardrops from their eyes. 
of all the details required for a butterfly's construction, perhaps none are more versatile than the wealth of component parts that shape its glorious wings. Almost every wing is covered by thousands of microscopic scales. These fascinating structures consist of a thin layer of hardened protein and each measures less than one-tenth of a millimeter across. They are organized into overlapping rows that resemble shingles on a rooftop and individually anchored to the wing membrane by a short stem that fits securely into a socket. Many scales are covered by ridges or small openings that, when struck by light, produce a dazzling array of refracted colors. But visual splendor is far from their only purpose. Scale patterns often create systems of passive defense. This dead leaf with legs is actually the underside of a Kalima butterfly's wings. That's camouflage at its finest. Scales are sometimes arranged to mimic giant eyes that confuse predators or, on some species, vivid patterns that warn hungry birds. I'm toxic and taste terrible. Leave me alone. Wing scales are also excellent solar panels. Butterflies are cold-blooded and can't fly effectively until their body temperatures reach at least 80 degrees Fahrenheit. That's no problem when you're covered with thermal cells designed to warm up flight muscles by absorbing and circulating energy from the sun. Once aloft, wing scales continue to play vital roles in the insect's survival. Researchers have discovered that the surface textures created by the arrangement of the scales reduce drag and increase lift by improving airflow above the wing. While these thin grooves allow dirt and water to easily slide off their outer layer, Collectively, the scales also make the wings stronger and provide the flexibility required to help generate aerodynamic thrust. A research team in Sweden used slow motion photography to demonstrate that on their upstroke, the wings don't slam together like two flat pieces of plastic. Instead, only their top edges make initial contact as the wings bend to form a pocket that traps and then releases a jet stream of air for additional propulsion. Watch closely. There's the first touch, and there's the air pocket. Then, after the wings collapse to squeeze out the captured air, there's the boost. These studies confirm significant gains in efficiency, especially at liftoff. The layers of biological detail evident in a butterfly are remarkable, and each points to a singular truth that applies throughout the natural world. Regardless of its species or size, every living organism is a masterpiece of artistry and engineering, endowed with countless molecular systems and mechanisms that reveal a creator who displays his presence through all that he has made. And if we pause to recognize these often hidden demonstrations of God's provision and power, our hearts may fill with the same sense of appreciation and discovery an ancient psalmist once expressed so passionately. How many are your works, O Lord? In wisdom you made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. I will sing to the Lord all of my life. I will sing praise to my God as long as I live.